Hi yogis, it's Terry. Uh, thank you for joining me for meditation today. Coming to you from the Arboretum. Uh, seems to be quite a few folks out enjoying this beautiful day. Um, but this uh, meditation is built for grounding, uh, which is really helpful in times of uncertainty or times of change. Um, before we get started with the meditation, I just wanted to kind of share a little bit of um, information about meditation, um, my own ideas around that, and then we'll kind of get into it. But um, as I first started my own practice of meditation, I thought it had to be done a certain way. Clear your mind, make it quiet. Um, but there's lots of different ways to meditate. Um, there's not one way to do it. There's not a right way to meditate. And uh, one of the uh, one of the teachers that I had with meditation, one of the a lot of books that I read was um, Pema Chondron's um, readings and her writings. And so I pulled one of her books out. I've been reading it recently because it's her book on comfortable with uncertainty. Seems appropriate for the times that we're in. And there's actually quite a bit of wisdom in this, in her books, but in this one in particular. And there's some areas and some sections on meditation. And so I just wanted to read uh, just a, a passage, a couple of a page, page and a half on meditation, just to kind of share before we get into it. Uh, this is on loving kindness and meditation. When we start to meditate or to work with any kind of spiritual discipline, we often think that somehow we're going to improve, which is a subtle aggression against who we really are. It's a bit like saying, if I jog, I'll be a better person. If I could meditate and calm down, I'd be a better person. Or the scenario may be that we find fault with others. We might say, if it weren't for my spouse, I'd have a perfect marriage. And if it weren't for my mind, my meditation would be excellent. But loving kindness or Maitri towards ourself doesn't mean getting rid of anything. Maitri means that we can still be angry, we can still be timid or jealous or full of feelings of unworthiness. Meditation practice isn't about trying to get rid of or throw ourselves away and become something better. It's about befriending who we already are. The ground of practice is you or me or whoever we are right now, just as we are. That's what we come to know with tremendous curiosity and interest. Curiosity involves being gentle, precise, and open. Actually being able to let go and open. Gentleness is a sense of good hardness towards ourselves. Precision is being able to see clearly, not being afraid to see what's really there. Openness, being able to let go and to open. And when you come to have this kind of honest, honesty, gentleness, and good hardness, combined with clarity about yourself, there's no obstacle to feeling loving kindness for others as well. So I'll leave you with that as a foundation of meditation. And I invite you, and I'm going to actually turn around so you can see... Uh, the Arboretum instead, but I'm going to invite you to find a comfortable space, uh, comfortable whether you want to stay seated um, with your maybe legs crossed, or if you're in a chair that both feet are grounded um, flat on the floor, um, or maybe you want to lay down. Um, just as long as you are comfortable, relaxed, uh, and feeling safe and secure. So feel free to get into position, grab any um, supportive props if you want to use blankets or pillows or anything along those lines. But go ahead and take a moment and get into that position. And I'm going to flip you around and just as you're getting into position, show you the beautiful area that we're in here. Sunny day, blue skies, surrounded by beautiful trees. So go ahead and get yourself settled. Continue to find yourself being grounded. It's 
As I said, if you're in a chair, having both feet on the ground. If you're sitting on the floor or on the ground, feeling your sits bones solidly, firmly anchored in, shoulders stacked over hips. If you're laying on the ground, if you're laying on the floor, feeling the different parts of your body, where they anchor and where they touch. Allow the heaviness of your bones to start to sink in to whatever is supporting you, whether that's the earth below or a chair. Allow your hands or your arms to rest easy along the side or on your lap. Allow your gaze to either close your eyes completely or come to half mast. And just take a deep breath in and exhale out. One of the ways that we can really start to feel more centered is through our sensor, uh, senses. And so we're going to do an exploration first through our senses and then turn inward for a body scan. So allow your breath just to be natural in, on an inhalation and exhalation. Feeling your chest expand and contract as it would with natural breath. So whether you're breathing in through your nose or your mouth, just let that be very natural. And then we'll turn our awareness to what we feel. What does your body feel with the ground beneath you? The solidity of the floor below solidity of the chair holding you, providing you stability. The grounding nature that you can send energy down through, gather energy up through. As you breathe in, know that you're exchanging that energy between There's support, there's stability, and you are safe here, whether you are laying down or you are seated. Notice what the air feels like around you. Is it warm? Is it cool? Is there a breeze? How does that feel on your skin? Just notice what you notice, bringing awareness with no judgment. What does the texture of the clothes uh, feel like on your skin? or the touch of beneath your fingers, whether it's the fabric of your clothes or the feeling of the floor, or if there's a blanket across you, what's the nature of that texture? How does it feel? Remember to breathe. And then we turn our awareness to our sense of hearing. 
What are the sounds that you are hearing? Do you hear your breath as you breathe in and out? Do you hear noises in the space that you occupy? Can you hear the birds through the video that are flying through the arboretum? Allow them to continue through, acknowledge and let them pass without anchoring into your mind. Do you notice any smells around you? This might also tag into taste. So you take a deep inhale, hold that breath just for a moment so that you can acknowledge any smells or tastes around. Exhaling back out through your nose or mouth. And with your eyes closed, what images or colors or other visions might you be seeing in your meditation? Similar to sounds, allow them to pass through. Acknowledge without judgment. On your next inhale, really feel your lungs expanding, all the different spaces within your lungs, all the different niches and corners, little dark spaces. Expand them fully and then exhale it out. As we turn our awareness inward, starting at the crown of our head. As you inhale and bringing breath in, send it up to the crown of your head, clearing space, creating space for that curiosity that we talked about. Seeking curiosity, seeking space with each inhale, exhaling out, allowing that just to be. With each breath, we work our way down the body, relaxing around our eyes, around our cheeks, around the corners of our mouth, relaxing around our jaw. Within each inhale and exhale, focusing on all those muscles around our face, breathing in, breathing out melting in to the earth, knowing that it's safe and supported. We continue down. Oftentimes when we are facing uncertainty and change, we hold tension in our neck and our upper shoulders and back area. So on this next inhale, bring that up. Almost bring your shoulders up to your ears. Hold it for just a few counts. And then on your exhale, intentionally relax it down. Really feel the breath expand. Release any additional tension. Inhale some more space between your ears and your shoulders. Feeling yourself, feeling your shoulders melt towards the earth if you're laying down. Feeling your shoulders and shoulder blades work your, the, their way towards and down your back if you're sitting. Allow the breath to help 
relax and melt the muscles down. Breathing into that space. Sending breath down your arms, relaxing through there, all the way out your fingertips. Feeling the energy all the way through, almost like roots down to the earth. As you send energy down, growing in, rooting in, finding that foundation, knowing not just that you're sending energy down, but you're also gaining energy back up through. Continue breathing down into your chest and your heart space, that heart chakra. During these times of change and uncertainty, we often protect our heart. Maybe our shoulders round in a little bit more. So open that up. We just opened up our shoulders a bit more. Allow your chest to also relax open. Continue letting that space blossom because you are safe here. Breathing into that heart chakra, exhaling it open. Breathing on down, down to your solar plexus, into your stomach. Inhaling deeply, exhaling, releasing your core. Sending breath down through your hips. Hips is where our emotions lie, our past memories lie. We have lots of anxiety, grief, unsurety, lots of things that we might be holding in our hips right now. Whatever it is that we're feeling is valid, without judgment. Acknowledge anything that comes up here. On an inhale, create space for curiosity, acknowledging what comes up. Exhaling out. Continue sending breath down your legs, releasing your muscles, releasing your quadriceps, relaxing your knees. Continuing down your legs, down your calves, out your ankles and out your toes through the roots your legs and your lower abdomen are a part of your root chakra which is such an important time such an important part of who we are in feeling grounded feeling safe and feeling secure Sending energy through our root chakra into the earth can help us feel grounded during this time. Whatever we may be experiencing. Take a deep breath, pulling that energy up through our toes, up through our legs and our knees, up through our thighs and our hips up through our sacral chakra, our solar plexus, up through our heart chakra, up through our throat. This is where we also express to ourselves and our others and in our community that which we, we may be needing. Through social distancing, it may be feeling very isolating. And so reaching out to others, reaching out when we need to have connection, we do through our throat chakra. And sending all of this grounded energy through the crown of our head. Take a deep inhale, the deepest that you've done so far. All the way from the toes through the crown of your head. Hold it for a few counts. Take another sip. And then exhale everything out from the crown of your head all the way back down your body, 
and out your toes. Take a few, another few moments, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your legs and your arms. Start to come back. And you can either stay lying down, if you're in seated, start to blink your eyes, come back. You may leave your hands on your legs if you're in a seated position, or if you'd like, you can bring your hands in prayer position, Anjane Mudra, right in front of your heart center. And I just want to say thank you for joining me and continue to find ways to ground yourself and make connections with one another during this time. Namaste.